right? So I'm spinning it on part two with Monique and Shannon, right? Uh, part one was good. It was good enough to make me hurry up and get back to part two because I couldn't let this day go by without getting the part two as well. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I see y'all want part two. If y'all want part three, let me know. I'm just hoping in part two is what we talk about, what she talk about, like the Tiffany Haddishes and stuff. You feel me? Um... Cause I know Tiffany had a shit at this point. Like, why do y'all keep speaking on me? You know what I'm saying? First Cat Williams, now you? Why y'all funny actually comics is speaking on me? Yo, um, yeah. Like the video, bro. I be saying, like I had said in one video, like, I didn't think likes support the video. Like, seriously support the channel. I thought that was just some bullshit, but it works, bro. So just hit that thumbs up for me if you rock with me, man. I just finished what part one about an hour ago and i said it was 3.5 million now and she had four million she going crazy i had looked at cat williams and i'm like let me see what cat even did this nigga did 57 million i'm like shit shannon in his bag right now he in his bag but i ain't here to count your pockets bro we all know you get to it uh but let's get to this and see what's to this do you believe punishment mm. punishment is not only meant for the perpetrator, but it's also to deter others from said acts. You see it. Do you believe the punishment that was bestowed upon Monique was not only to punish you, you saw it. but to deter others from saying what you said? Well, Shannon, see here, and, and, and I'm gonna answer that, but sometimes we act like we don't know our history. See, back in the day when they had us in chains, mm -hmm. they would beat one real good. Right. But they in front every, of the others. In front of the others, and they let everybody know, what you don't want is that type of ass whooping. Right. So what they said was, we're going to beat Monique really good. We're going to sit her down. And, and, and I made it public. Financially, my family took a hit, Shannon. And when I tell you we took a hit, right. we took a hit. So when you see our sister go through that, you see her go through and... We act like our eyes didn't see what it saw when we watched that promotion happen mm -hmm. with the color purple. Right. We wanted to act like we didn't see how Oprah Winfrey treated Taraji. In my humble opinion, when you saw her walk up, you saw that there was tension. You saw that there was something happening. Right. And then when you see Taraji write her a love letter, it's like, listen, we got to stand tall and stand strong on what we know. You, we know you were mistreated. We know it wasn't right. We know it was unfair. And then you turn around and say, oh, but Lady O handled it. I have a problem with that. You probably know this to print for a bit. Real quick, so I ain't looking to the Taraji. I just seen a quick clip. So who didn't really pay her? Oprah? Or like the company or what? Who like shorted her check? Because it sounds like Oprah kind of finessed her now, but I ain't 100% sure on it. I just saw her crying and like, damn, artists, I mean, uh, actors ain't getting paid, yada, 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 that shit. So I don't really know for real. Problem with that, because that allows Lady O to keep on doing what she's doing. And we're in a position of, I don't want to say Oprah. nothing because we saw how Monique got whooped. Now, again, that's just my humble right. opinion. But I don't know what else to say. That shit really deep. Low key what she said. How you beat the shit out of one. And be like you don't want your ass to be like that. So stay in your lane. When really you got to have that courage to get out there and be like, man, I know this shit going to come with some bruises and bumps, but I ain't finna go out like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get mad. I don't know how else to frame that. It's like, listen, you better fix that because you saw what they did to her. You saw how they treated her. Is it a situation, do you believe it's a situation that Oprah might have faced something similar that maybe wasn't as public as you? And, and, and she's looking at it, well, if I faced that, went through it, and came out on the other side and look at me, it should be okay. Because sometimes we get that with parents. You know, I struggle. You say my kids should have to struggle sometimes also. Do you think that might be something going on with her? Or you just like, she, there's a disconnect there's a disconnect. Okay. There's a disconnect, and there's been a disconnect for years. There's a disconnect. And I think what happens is we place people on these pedestals, mm -hmm. and we say, oh, no, you can't do no wrong. We don't even want to hear it. Right. And when you hear cats say, you know what they do? They don't say anything, and they act like it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep talking until you take accountability. Right. Until you say, uncle, 
I've done this. That's why it was so important. From Oprah Winfrey to Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels. Now, Lee Daniels was the only one I had to deal with. Did you see Lee Daniels apologize? Mm -hmm. He walked out on he that stage. stage. Not only did he apologize on stage, that man apologized to our children. That man apologized to our children and said, I need to apologize for what I put y'all through. He's the only one I had to deal with. However, it became a problem with Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry that I wouldn't do something and work for free. Now, when you say, well, maybe Oprah feels like she came through it, why can't you? Right. Well, there's a story with Oprah Winfrey when she was on the show, people are talking. Richard Sher was making $55,000. She was making $22,000. These are her words. It was her co-host. She said, I had... It just be when they be, like, tell these stories and they just come with, like, factual shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Maybe just some people just good at just popping their shit and bringing up facts and shit better than others. I had to leave because they wasn't paying me fairly. Now you say black woman who did nothing wrong and you're in the midst of this situation because she called me, Tyler Perry called me, Lionsgate called. When you were on the phone with my husband, you said, I agree with Monique. I agree with the position she's taking. But? But when it came time to say it out loud, Oprah Winfrey went totally silent. Now to Tyler Perry's credit, Tyler Perry called us up, right? And he said, I can see the pain in you and I can hear it. And I want to let you know that I, I, I would never do nothing to hurt you. But the conversation kept going on. Only for Tyler Perry to admit he did start a rumor that I was difficult to work with. He lied. Only for Tyler Perry to admit I was wrong. And when my movie Boo come out, I'm going to say that. Right? Now, here's where... When you did that interview with Kat, I could respect how you do it. And, I, and it's crazy. I get that she's saying that. They basically upset that. She said, no, I ain't working for no change or no shit like that. But I'm still really is confused how t why Tyler Perry would tweak out. You know what I'm saying? Tyler, chill out. And just this little quick side note real quick. You know, I thought Tyler Perry was from Chicago. This whole time, I'll be like, yeah, Tyler Perry from the city. The whole time, nigga from, like, New Orleans or something, bro. Because Kat said, you let them people lie in your face. And your response was, Kat, I don't know if they're lying or not. Right. Because I can only take them at their word. At their word. Right? Yes. Well, we sent you the audio mm -hmm. of Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to take me at my word. I want you to hear his words. And what did you hear that man saying? What did you hear that man saying? He said it. What did he say? <laughs> is that, is, <laughs> Monique, you know you're not. What did he say, Shannon? What did he say, bro? You heard what she asked you. You heard the audio. What did Tyler Perry say, man? Because we ain't hit. We ain't hit. So let us know, bro. What you hold? Supposed to be recording people. N no, no. No, no. <laughs> let me back up. Okay. Everything we did was legal. And here's oh where a black God. woman really gets the kick in the ass. Had I not recorded Tyler Perry, then it would have been my word, word against, his. against his. And then on top of that, it would have been, he's so powerful, we can't even pay no attention to that. Right. Well, now I have him on audio, which is legal to do mm -hmm. where we live. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. We have him on audio. And do you know what some people then said? Why would you record him? <laughs> Just like you sat there and said, you know what's illegal to do. But did you hear what the man said? I, I violated you. Yeah. I mistreated you. Yeah. Do you know, Shannon, that's cost my family tens of millions of dollars? Yeah. Over a lie and a rumor? Is he gonna is he gonna make a he's gonna compensate you for that? I want you to look in your camera. Yes. <laughs> and I want you to talk to Tyler Perry because you heard what that man said. So ask him, will he compensate my family for that? Tyler, will you come on Club Shay Shay and let's have a conversation about the fair compensation oh, for what transpired? Hey, that'd be hard, bro. That'd be hard. She haven't had Tyler, but, she, but Tyler got to keep it a buck. Like, yeah, I fucked up. I don't like she recorded me, no. But she right. I tweaked out, whatever. I started a rumor for whatever reason. Probably ain't had shit to do with him, all that. 
So that'll be crazy. He'll do so. He gonna do it again. He trying to parry up here to speak on Monique, bro. But yeah, yeah. Hopefully he. I don't know. That shit both spreading these rumors and shit, bro. Between you and Monique, you can sit right here, and she's sitting right here, and you and I can have a conversation. And we'll do you one better. And give me five on that, baby. We'll do you one better, Shay. My husband and I'll sit right next to him. <laughs> See, with this whole situation, and some of the people that Kat talked about, ironically, I have this issues with those same people. There were people that reached out to Tyler Perry on my behalf. Okay. And I was grateful for that. Okay? There was Al Sharpton, the Reverend. Al Sharpton, civil rights leader. Yeah. I sent him that audio. He listened to it. He said, baby, what that man did to you was wrong, and you're like my daughter, and we're going to have to get him to fix that. Right. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the... I don't, I don't know. If it was all private and, and Tyler Perry never came out, he probably not. He probably not. She's going to have to let us hear the audio, man. Hear how he sounded in his voice, bro. We didn't hear from Al Sharpton for six months. The next time we saw Al Sharpton, he was on a podium talking about we don't need to fly commercial because we can fly Tyler Perry's private jet. <laughs> I said, that's why maybe I'm not hearing back from him. Oh, okay? my God. Bro. Then we had our beautiful sister, Stephanie Mills. Yes. Okay. Who is, she don't play. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I told her what happened, sent her the audio. Now, I don't know if she listened to that audio or not, but however, she called Tyler Perry. She said, Monique Tyler Perry does not want to revisit this. Okay, fine. Right. While we're on the phone, Tyler Perry calls her back and says, I will meet with Monique, but not with her husband. Now, you ready for this? Yeah. And then Monique has to apologize publicly to say, Oprah and I had nothing to do with messing up her career. But that'd be a lie. I, look in the goddamn camera. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought that was a stage the way you... Look in the camera. Yes. Because you heard it. Yes. Right? Yes. So when you have, when you hear what this man is. This shit is funny how she is mama in this nigga bad. She giving like mama granny vibes and shit, bro. It's about look in the camera. For what? God damn, we didn't have a discussion. Saying. <laughs> so I said, Stephanie, tell Tyler Perry, never will I meet with him without my husband. And I owe no apology, so I'm not going to give one. That goes away. Kevin Hart. Now, you know when Cat Williams said gatekeepers? Yeah. Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. I do his um, podcast. Yes. And I want y'all to re-listen to the podcast so you can hear it for yourself. When he first comes on, he says, you're like my mother, you're like my aunt, you're like my sister. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then we do the podcast. We speak about the Tyler Perry situation. Oprah Winfrey, he said, I don't really know Oprah, but I'm going to reach out to Tyler. Appreciate that. Kevin kept his word. He reached out to Tyler Perry. Kevin Hart called me back about maybe a week or so later. He said, Mo, I talked to Tyler. He said he don't want to revisit it. He said, but I tell you what, let's move past that, Mo. Let's just move past that and let's just do great things. So whatever That's you, what Kevin said. I want you to hear me, Kevin Hart. Let's move past that, Mo. Let's do some great things together. Don't even worry about it. Whatever y'all want to do, I will partner with you. I'll executive produce with you. You just let me know what you want to do. Now, let me say that before we go any further, because okay. I want to make sure I give Kevin Hart his proper credit. When my family was up against the wall, Kevin Hart wrote us a check and said, here you go. We're forever grateful for that. When we were able to give it back, we said, brother, we appreciate you with some interest on top because I don't ever want nobody to think like they me and my one. husband. Yeah, yeah. So I want to make sure I put that out there. That, was, that brother really helped us out when we needed to be helped out. Then when he came back with, I got you. I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. He said, I'll executive produce. I'll partner with you. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol. And we're trying to get our talk show back. That was some real shit. Cut them a check. Look out for them shit, man. I fuck with that. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world, Correct. right? And was then. We got off the phone with Kevin Hart. We called in the mall immediately and said, Kevin Hart said, whatever we want to do, he got us. He's going to partner, executive use. They was like, oh, this is incredible because when you put Kevin Hart's name on it, you already know what it is. Correct. Two weeks go by. We get a call from in the mall. 
in the mall says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So I was going, gee, I started to listen this, to this out, bro. Cause I just felt this shit was finna go downhill. Because except for the, I think the second person was just a lady. I'm not sure. Sound like she didn't, um, she wasn't going to switch on her or nothing like that. But, um, damn, I just knew it was going to go left, bro. So whatever she told y'all, he doesn't. And my speaker steady is just going in and out. That's why y'all got to like the video. Cause I can't even afford no speakers, bro. Want to do anything with her? She nothing. Wasn't. You know, he doesn't want any, any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed? Hold on, let me close this door, man. between the two weeks and when and, and plus he gave you a check you gave the money back then said he would partner with you executive produce whatever you need mo hey we got you so what transpired or what do you think transpired between then that two that two week period well soon as we got off the phone and they told us what kevin manager david becky said i called kevin hart immediately i said hey baby we just got off the phone with Endemol and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, you don't want anything to do with me. He said, Mo, that's, that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you okay though with this white man calling them up? Getting in between our relationship? And what do you mean miscommunication? What do you mean, bro? Did you say something similar to that? You feel me? something you said he said mo i'm that's a miscommunication and we're gonna talk tuesday don't worry about it I, i'm telling you right now it's a miscommunication that was two years ago if you talk to him i talk to him i've never talked back to kevin hart again these goddamn dogs man hold on gang please So that's what we're faced. Never talk back to Kevin Hart again. So that's what we're faced with. When you allow somebody to come in between a relationship with a woman that you said, I'm like your mother. You said, I'm like these things. I didn't ask you for that. So everything that that baby was saying sitting here, everything he was saying was on the up and up. Because when you hear people say, get the anger out your heart. Oh man, no one's saying he's lying. No one ever said I was lying. It's so easy to discount and devalue because of what we look like. Right. However, when it comes to Tyler Perry, I will not allow you to discount or devalue because that is your voice on that audio. Mm -hmm. Remember on Good Times mm -hmm. when Penny's mother was whooping up on yep. her and, then, and she had recorded it? Mm -hmm. That's you on tape. So how does it go from you saying you're going to give me an apology to now I owe you an apology? But what do you want an apology for? Guys, the system is designed for spreading rumors, for getting in the way, for blackballing, all type of shit. What, what, what could I possibly owe you an apology for when you've admitted? See, when Lee Daniels says to me, because Cookie from the, the show Empire, yeah. I was offered that role. Now, Taraji tore it up, baby. Right. It Listen right. here. However, I was offered that. Then Felita called me back and say, baby girl, they said you're too difficult to work with. But you hear on the audio that a man told David Talbert I was difficult to work with. Do you see how that right. cost my family? Yes. And with no accountability? Because, oh, it's the great Tyler Perry? No, you've got to be accountable for that. Oprah Winfrey, you've got to be accountable for the things you've done with my family. You've got to be accountable for that. Is there any relationship between you and Tyler and you and Oprah currently? No. No. But I thought there was an apology. I, I read what there uh, that I thought I read somewhere that Oprah had issued you an apology and Tyler had issued an apology. That's not correct. No, no. The only person that's given you an apology. You saw it. It's Lee Daniels. That's the only person. So we are in a place where we're too afraid to call them for what it is. 
We're too afraid to say if it looked like a duck and it quacked like a duck, what is it, Shannon? A it's a duck. duck. Right. So again, you see the struggle of the black woman as I'm sitting here talking to you and you say, Mova, why would you record him? But you heard the man violate me. The first thing wasn't, I can't believe that cat did that to you. It's why would you do it? And we understand it right. because we've been conditioned that way. Because when you, you had to get somehow, because when you're telling people these are lies, yes. nobody. He should, first off, I don't think Tyler Perry nor Oprah Winfrey is ever going to apologize to Monique. And two, this puts me in the mind of what she just broke down to Shannon about. Um, she's saying the first thing you say is why you recording him, and basically like, damn, not why he did that to you. Worried about what the fuck I did, but not what the fuck he did to to make me do this shit. They say that's how villains really is. Nobody wonders why the villain is really being a villain. So it looks like she's the villain when really he's the villain type shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is believing Monique. So now, even though you have him record his voice, and that's him, and he's saying he made it up, now it's no longer, oh man, I can't believe he lied on Mo. Mo, why'd you record it? So now they put the onus back on you. Where's the win? How do we win? How does a black woman win when you say, here he is right here? And I look to the community and say, how long do we allow us to keep being exploited, used up, taken advantage of, and because we think somebody can give us an opportunity, mm -hmm. we just say, shh, I'm not going to say nothing. If we keep operating like that, Shannon, you're going to have a whole lot of us sitting right here in this same seat, almost telling the same story. What? Close to about the same people type shit. Why do you think Tyler is afraid to meet with you and your husband? Why does it need to be you one on one when he meet with other representatives and 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 the cli their client? What what is it about you that he feels it needs to be just you and he? Does he think your husband is some kind of negative influence on you? He thinks the husband is saying things that that Monique probably wouldn't say if I just had, had an opportunity to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. What do you think that is? Let me say <coughs> this. Me. People better be glad my husband is by my side because there are people <laughs> in Hollywood that know wherever you act up is where I show up. People know in Hollywood, <laughs> baby, Shannon, and I don't say it with a badge of honor, it's just what it is. Well, I've had to say, who you think you're talking to? And we're sitting there with the president of the studio or the... Com my patience level it's not going to allow, I've been molested. I've been violated. So the moment I see you trying to do it, we're going to have to address it. My husband is nothing but a gentleman. All right. Sometimes I hate to hear stuff like that without being in the head because it plays a part in who she is, why she's so defensive and shit. All right. Because I'll be wondering sometimes, like, why, like, when Shannon was like, Monique, in part one, Monique, you ain't like, hold on. She's like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? I think she was fake, like, t at least 20% serious about that shit and it just it, it just makes sense all right and you know why people have a problem with my husband because he's right to it there's no we're going to dance around the bush he's right to it right. and people like tyler perry people like oprah winfrey they look at my husband and say how dare you be so direct right how dare you not put your eyes down when you're talking to me how dare you do that my husband is also my manager why would he want to exclude my right. management it's like tyler you should want my husband to be there. You, <laughs> you, you may want him to be sitting right there so that way we can have a conversation that everyone can be heard. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate you, Shannon, because most people are too afraid. That's heard the tape. They're too afraid to say, no, I heard it, and this is what he said. Mm -hmm. I appreciate T.S. Madison because T.S. Madison was the first one to say, no, I heard what he said. Mm -hmm. So when folks were trying to jump on her, she not down for the black woman. Listen, baby, y'all don't even understand the right. fights that sister be having when ain't nobody watching for the black woman. Right. So I appreciate you looking in that camera. Right. Well, I mean, look, sometimes there are some, some black people, some, not all, some, that my grandfather used to say, Mo, is that if you're not careful, you'll become the very thing you despise the most in a person. Now, what do we despise most about Trump supporters, ex-President Trump, is that no matter what he says, no matter what he does, they give him an out.
There's some people in our community, no matter what powerful black people say or do in our community, we'll give them an out. And we can't. And we become the very thing we despise the yes. most. What we despise most about President Trump's, ex-President Trump supporters, is that no matter what he does or says, it's okay. Yes. We can't do that. We you can't. can't. We can't. If somebody is wrong. Like Real quick, man. Seeing these numbers go up right here is just amazing, man. Seeing, I think because he's a black podcast, you know, I like the... I be on some black shit too. Like, I love my black people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So to see, like, man, he's ass killing the internet. Like, I'm damn near proud of this shit, bro. Like, he he doing it. She ain't had to go over there on them, you know what I'm saying, corny ass. She went well. She should have went. And he deserved this shit, bro. Like you said, Mo, if somebody's wrong, we have to be man or woman enough to say they're wrong, regardless of what comes along with that. They don't know. They don't understand what them saying I'm sorry will mean for them. See, when I, I read the Because that's day, not for you. And I'm sorry is not for the person that you offended. It's for you. Because currently you're in hostage. Your feelings. Because you have to live with that. You have to live with that. what you've done. So when you see a woman say, me turning 70, I'm so happy because I've never hurt anyone. Stop it. If y'all are dead broke and 16 grand could... I don't know, I'm seeing if she gets so up there or she just speaking in general. <laughs> Stop it. Because there's a black woman that has been calling your name for over a decade that you seem to want to make go away. And I know I'm not the only one. Would you want, would you sit, if Oprah called Mo today, would you sit down and have a conversation with her? Let me tell you what I'll do if Oprah called me today, Shannon Sharp. We will sit down and have a conversation with Oprah Winfrey. We will sit down and have a conversation with Tyler Perry. We will sit down and have a conversation with the presidents of Lionsgate. We will sit down and have a conversation with anyone that is, bra I'm going to say brave enough to sit down and have a conversation. But what happens is within seconds, Within seconds, if Tyler Perry was to sit right here, you would say, man, I heard you. Did he out here, MG? His lad is a puppy, man. If y'all want to buy a puppy, I got Yorkies for sale, bro. He needs to be the first one to go. That man be turned, he the leader of the pack, bro. His name is Avatar. What you trying to tell me about this system? Within seconds, Oprah Winfrey would know that people would say, hold up. See, when I speak about Oprah Winfrey, and let me be clear, I love that sister, because she's our sister. Mm -hmm. She just got to come back across the street. We got the light on. When I speak about Oprah Winfrey, I speak about that woman because she's spoken about me. And when you begin to speak about me privately, I'm going to speak about you publicly. <laughs> You've been unfair. You've been unjust. And you watched a black woman be thrown under the bus and you said nothing and here's what's interesting as well my husband was saying to me after i won the oscar award right mm -hmm. and she had the people come you know to talk to the oscar winners and i go on the stage and i talk to the oscar winners well when we go to a commercial the people in the audience and i say this humbly as my husband was telling me he said mama they wasn't screaming oprah they were screaming monique mm -hmm. Right? right? So much so, I had to say, y'all gonna shut that shit up now. We get ready to go back on the air. We right. having fun, right. right? He said, but I watched Oprah. He said, and I watched her almost turn in her seat like they screaming her name. <laughs> now, some people will say, oh, Monique, you're, you're reaching. Well, let me tell you what then happens. The movie, The Butler, mm -hmm. that movie was offered to me. Lee Daniels came out and said, I did offer Monique the butler. But as he said to me, he said, Mo, at the time I didn't have no power and I didn't have no money. So when Oprah said she wanted it, so who played the lead role in the butler? Oprah Winfrey. Hopefully we see her in more movies and good movies and shit like that, bro. Lee Daines was getting ready to do a biopic on Richard Pryor and he offered me the grandmother. Who then calls Lee Daniels and says, I want to be the grandmother. So as you're looking at me, it's the same way I'm looking at that sister. And I'm saying, why don't we sit down and have a conversation? Because the way things could look, it may not be that way, but just the way things look, Oprah, 
just the way you would have my family on your show, Oprah. One might say, Mo, well, I mean, if the role, if they're looking for a black... Um, big, go ahead and big. say it. Shannon's so careful with his words. He wants to say fat no, black woman. No, no, if the role looking for a fat black woman, Mo, he no, was no, like, no, no, but, no. But I want to uh, keep my podcast, Mo. Uh, Y'all ain't been to cancel This is why we love you, Uncle Shay Shay, because we want you to say it, a fat black woman. Now, me and Oprah fit the damn description, Shay. Fat black. Don't we fit it? You, you do. But I'll be right back here. I'll be your neighbor up there where you live at. Listen here. Saying. Listen here. Listen here. So, <laughs> so, are you lying? No. Now, no. I'm not going to have your big ass sitting here in the Hall of Fame and you scared to say shit. Okay. And I want to uh, excuse myself for any of the babies that might be watching this, because I wasn't going to say no spicy things, but Shay Shay get me wrong now. Come on, uh, Shay. One might say, mm -hmm. or people might say, well, Mo, I mean, the role calls for a, a heavyset black woman. You, Oprah, y'all fit the role. Yes. How do we know that she wasn't offered the role at long, and, and people think that she's better, more, more qualified than you? It don't work like that, Shannon. You can't offer me. Once you say, I want you. Right. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I don't have the money <coughs> to fund a production. Right. I don't have the connections to go to the studio and say, listen, I want to do this movie. She does. Right. So when Lee says, hey, baby, she got the money, go get it. get it. But someone would just say, how is that working out like that? How is that happening like that? Mm -hmm. How is it that things that was offered to Monique, you seem to be playing? Now, I, I told Oprah about that. See, I, I wouldn't even thought that you just basically pay for a role type shit, bro. Everything we're saying to you right now. You was, ha you was having a conversation with her. Listen here. I don't play the behind the back. I don't play the I'm going to share it with Shannon. There's one thing I will share with you that I've not shared with anybody. Okay. But I don't play the behind the back and all of that. I say, listen, let me try to get to you first. Now, if you avoid me, okay. Okay. But I tried to be respectful. I tried to call you first. When she had my family on her show, I tried to call you first. I tried to talk to you privately. But then you became the great, the great mighty Oprah Winfrey, and you were too busy to talk. Well, now I'm going to talk about it. This woman has overstepped with me so in so many ways that somebody would say, if we wasn't Monique and Oprah Winfrey in the entertainment business, and we was Monique and Oprah Winfrey that worked at Costco, <laughs> I see you in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> I see you at oh your cash. On my soul, it made me feel like that. So they just ain't never bumped heads, huh? Because I don't... I don't think... I don't know Oprah either, so I don't know. Just because Oprah ain't speaking out don't mean she ain't about that shit like Monique coming out to be. Uh, but I feel like Monique probably can't wait to that day. Just like Cat Williams can't wait to run into Cedric the Entertainer type shit. That's register because she's overstepped. Marcus is a connoisseur of any. So I, I really think Monique really want all the smoke. Like for real. Like for real, for real. Like I'm done talking. I done said enough. She know what's up. When I see her, I'm going to be like, bitch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> wow. So... <laughs> I don't know, Monique. If this might be the, the term crossing of the Rubicon, we might be going too far. Can I don't? How do you? If you feel that way, because clearly, if you feel this way, now yes. I, I get why you feel this way. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know this. I don't. I, I'm taking you at your word. Now, not 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 the Tyler because yes. I, I've listened to the audio. Yes. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about Oprah. Yes. I'm just taking you at your word. Yes. If you feel this way. Is it possible she feels the exact same way about you? How could she? How could she? What have I taken from Oprah? When did I have Oprah's mother and father on my show? Mm -hmm. When did I have anybody come and speak about Oprah Winfrey on the Monique show? That's never happened. So how could she feel that way? Would you have done that? Had her family on? Yeah. Let me tell you how we operate. When we had the Monique show, there was a comedian on there. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to joke T.I.'s wife, Tiny. My husband walked out in the middle of his set. He said, cut. He said, brother, we don't do that here. We uplift our folks. Mm -hmm. We don't play that. So no, I would not have done that. When Oprah Winfrey had my family, and, and, and I'll, I'll tell y'all, and I'm looking, over, I'm looking around, baby, because there are people here. Yes. Okay, and I don't yeah. want to be rude to the people at Shay Shay's club. You got other people in the club, mm -hmm. right? When Oprah Winfrey called me up 
and she said, I got a call from your brother. And this is after I won the Oscar Award, mm -hmm. right? And your brother wants to come on the show, and he wants to apologize to you for molesting you. And he wants yeah, to tell brother. other people how to look out for a predator. Right. I said, Oprah, I said, I don't want anything to do with that cat. I said, but, and then she said, well, if you want me to scratch the show, I will scratch it. I said, sis, don't scratch it because he could be a different person. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get in the way if that cat is a different person. I just don't want no parts of it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I hung up that phone, Shannon, I was like, I appreciate that sister. Like she didn't have to call me. She didn't. She didn't have to call me and say, no. I'm going to have your brother. Right. I start seeing commercials with my mother and my father and my other brother who used to be my manager, mm -hmm. who knew the fear that I had with the brother that was up on stage, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. We never talked about my mother being there. She never told you that. You know how you feel about your grandparents? Yes, absolutely. You know the honor and the, how you speak about them? Mm -hmm. Imagine you then seeing your granddaddy and your grandmama on a show and they're talking about somebody that violated you and that woman didn't tell you that they were going to be there. How would you feel? I would feel like you feel like you felt betrayed. That is exactly how I felt and how I feel. And it's not, oh, I'm in a, no, I understand it. But you betrayed me, sister. And I'm not the only one. Because at the time when she called you, she said it was just your brother. Just my brother. Right. And when my mother was on that show, do you know what I had to deal with, Shannon? What's that? I would be in the store. And I would have elderly women coming up to me. And they would say, your mama ain't shit. Wow. Now, they wasn't. No. no. No, why he still barking for? What he at? Because I said trying to get myself together. You know that tomorrow. Motherfucker, they distracting me, bruh. I would be in the store, and I would have elderly women coming up to me, and they would say, "Your mama ain't shit." Wow. Now. Hey. Tell me I watch your goddamn mouth. They wasn't lying, Shannon, okay? <laughs> they wasn't lying, baby. Sometimes wait. you gotta let the truth be the goddamn truth. Wait, wait, now, wait. Because I'm thinking about my mom. I ain't gonna care. I don't know her relationship with her mom, but that's how my <laughs> That's how my shit would be. So what? She was like, they like knew or something and didn't. See, I don't even know the whole story. But me? Damn. Bitch. Who, mama? <laughs> Sometimes you got to just go with it, but still, it's my mother. It's your mom. And I'm in here, and I, because when she want, I'm having to defend something, and I got that often with them telling me what my mother wasn't, because you did not tell me. Had Oprah Winfrey said, I'm gonna have your mama, I'd have said, shut that shit it's down. Right. I don't need nobody seeing my mama be greedy. I don't need the world seeing, shut it down. Now there's a white woman. Wherever your business needs to show up, this print. Yeah, she she knew that she was like, well, I bet everybody like, but I asked her, I I, I mentioned the other ass shit, bro. I bet you she is sitting here play like that, bro. And Barbara Walters, mm -hmm. they called her first. And she said, Monique, I told your family, I can't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to mm -hmm. you. You just won that award. Like, yeah. why would I do that? Yeah, this, I mean, you're here. Why would I bring something that I know that you don't want to talk about. You lived it. Why do I need to replay it again? Ask her. Your camera right there. I, but I, I, was, I was trying to get I know, baby, but, but, but ask her. See, this is where it get juicy, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're, you're saying the right things, yes. but you're asking me questions that I can't answer. Right. I can't answer why Oprah Winfrey did what Oprah Winfrey did. Yeah. Only Oprah Winfrey can answer for her actions. Yes. So again, stop being scared. No, I would not. I knew that would get him up, Mary. I knew that would pop him back in, baby. I knew that would no, get up but, a Shay Shay. But, but even, even this show, I have a producer and I give him a lot of leeway. But I've had people reach out and say, well, a family member said something and I want to come on your show and refute it. That ain't what we do here. 
Right. It's like it ain't gonna happen. It's almost you don't cross that barrier. Mm -mm. I, we don't, don't do we don't do the family thing. You now. don't do the family thing, and I'm I'm gonna bring this up. I wasn't gonna do it, but damn it, this is this seat. I say, you might want to have another Look, example. This seat make you go truth. Tell it. No, <laughs> tell the damn truth. Tell them to tell the truth because family is sacred. It's supposed to be, and we don't cross the line with family. Mm -hmm. And people begin to get comfortable to jump on the Monique bandwagon of Monique doing things wrong, and she doing this and she doing that. And there's a brother named D.L. Hughley. Yep. And until he take accountability, I would- All right, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there, bro. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna bring it back some, bro. Only because I know D.L. just responded to something. I don't know what it was. That's how I knew. Like, damn, I right. when he got people speaking out right now. So it's busting. So um yeah. Uh that's part two if y'all want part three. Depending on how I feel, I'll probably drop part three today. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um let me know what y'all think. And catch me on that reaction.